solving formulas. Now, formulas are basically equations. So it's just like what we've done in the previous few chapters. Uh, the difference being that formulas are specifically used in, in a practical context to work something out. For instance, when, when I look at example one here, this specific formula is used for converting between degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll start with question A, which says, the cookbook says to set the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, convert this to degrees Celsius. All right, so we're going to take our formula, C equals 5 over 9, bracket F minus 32, and we're going to use substitution. So the 350 represents the F, 5 over 9, 350 minus 32. Okay. So what's this going to equal? Well, 350 minus 32 is 318. And 5 over 9 times 3 over 18. Remember, in, there's multiplication there. It's going to equal so 5 over 9 times 318. Um, it's going to be approximately, this is the approximately equal to sign, 177 degrees Celsius. And a lot of people know that, that 350 degrees Fahrenheit is approximately 180 degrees Celsius on an oven. So we can see that this formula works quite well. Okay, now question B is more challenging because question B says boiling point is 100, 100 degrees Celsius and it wants you to convert this to degrees Fahrenheit. Why is this difficult? Well, because this time we know what C is and we've got to find F. And it makes it difficult because F is on the right side of the equal sign. So we've got 100 equals 5 over 9, F minus 32. So what do we do? Well, we've got to do exactly what we did in the previous chapter with equations we've got to do the same thing to both sides un until we can solve it, all right? So, um, just remembering that we always do brackets last, okay? So we're going to focus on the 5 over 9. We're timesing by 5 and we're dividing by 9. So I'm going to start by doing the opposite. I'm going to times 9 on both sides. That gives me 900 equals 5 times bracket F minus 32 okay and now I'm going to divide 5 to cancel the 5 on both sides uh, 900 divided 5 is 180 so we've got 180 equals and because we got rid of the 5 that we can just leave that as F minus 32 and this is quite a, a basic one now to solve we now plus the 32 on both sides, plus the 32, giving us um, 212 equals F, which we can flip over and say that F equals 212. Therefore, 100, we'll go right, therefore, that's the therefore sign, 180 degrees Celsius is the same as 212 degrees Fahrenheit.